Hey guys, Cruel Bond way back. I'm Rick. Eric! Aaron! I'm Calvin. We are here with Naruto. Naruto. Last time on, Choji ate some spinach. Fuck yeah. Big boy gets to work. I think he took the yellow pill too. Right? Green spinach pill, and I wrote yellow. But not the red one. And I'll then I wrote it back. Super secret <laughs> triple threat. And Choji has this. Yeah. He says he does. We'll see. But he has like two more pills, right? He has a yellow one and he has a red one. He has a red one, which he hasn't taken. I can't yeah. remember if he took the yellow one or not. I think he was going to take the yellow one. I think in this episode, we'll finish that fight. Also, finish the rest of the guys and get Sasuke and be back at the... Finish that fight. Yeah, before the end really? of the episode. We'll be back at the Leaf Forge, I think. <coughs> Have you forgotten how this is? Yeah, I was wondering. Like... At first of the thing, I'm like, oh, maybe this will inspire him and he'll push forward and stuff. But then it cut to like all the flashbacky kind of ness to it, and I'm like, I think we're seeing everything Choji's done, and we're saying goodbye to Choji. And then when he dropped his his bandana, a, a fucking cool fight, but it was cool. Damn. If only he was a main character. So that he would be dead. No, so he'd survive. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> But yeah, at the very least, he's not going to be a side character that gets outpowered and forgotten. True. I'll never forget him. Do you think he killed the dude? God, yeah. I hope so. He'll I be sent so. to hell twice. I think I so. Think like so. he had everything drain out of him, which Fuck, seemed yeah. kind of like maybe like life draining out of him kind of thing too. Well, yeah, he's like a battery. Mm. Once he uses up all of his chakra, he's he's dead, right? That's why he was like feasting on them. Trying to. So I think it was one for one. Final. Final straw wasn't like, I think it was like you insulted my friend who stood up for me. Good shit. No, in the last moment there of him, like, you're right, Dad. I did find real friends versus like where he started, where like no one, no one wanted him to even be on their team. Shigamaru realizing it happened, but knowing he can't distract them. Sure. So he's got to keep it to himself. It could ruin morale. They, you know, right now they're on the move. He did what he needed to do. It doesn't do. They don't complete the mission if they focus on that now, and there's nothing they can do for him now. So. Yeah. I wonder if he thinks, like he knows he's dead, but does he think he succeeded, or does he think he failed? I like to believe he thinks he succeeded. Me too. I think he knew enough about the round pills that. He thinks that I think he would think that if he died, he would have pushed as far as he needed to to make sure that they were safe. Probably having that red pill. Because hmm. didn't he say like, "Don't you know, meet back up with us"? You know, don't take the red pill. Like I think there was a thing with that last episode or episode before where like at least he knew what it was. I don't think Naruto or Neji or no Kiba knew. I mean, they were friends the longest, so and teammates as well. So they would have shared those kind of techniques and secrets. I don't know who else will die, but if we do succeed and get Sasuke back, I'm going to have a hard time thinking it was worth it. <laughs> I have uh, a hard time thinking it was worth it now. I think it was a great moment and everything, but I wonder, because we saw sort of like into the future of Choji and what his peak and fighting style would be. He did like the body modifications and uh, like the Dalsam moves and everything. And I wonder if, because this and One Piece were going on at the same time, I wonder if like, the creator just didn't want to have a character that fought like Luffy. Mm -hmm. And so, like, that's why he chose this moment for him to go out. It's very uh, similar to the I way mean, Luffy fights. With, like, the growing and the stretching and the growing of wings? Yeah. yeah. I think Miss Marvel. I mean, when were the, the mangas done? They were going on at the same time. I don't know. Maybe. But, well, it's a hell of a way to go out. I think it also sets up where there's stakes, too. Or like, Proud of them. You know, we've lost <clears throat> uh, the Hokage. Yeah. But besides that... Yeah, we lost Haku, which we thought maybe was going to be redeemed. and Sure. But that was also like a villain thing that kind of did a little bit of redemption with him and uh, Zabuza. Zabuza. Well, like, they both kind of joined our side a little bit-ish, I guess. I guess Haku didn't. Uh, right? Tsunade has lost people, but we didn't really know those we people. We them. Sure. Yeah. Um, Kakashi, we knew Kakashi has lost people, but he sure. visits them every day or whatever. But with the Hokage and then 
you know, what's going on here and how dangerous these guys are, setting up where it's like, well, you know, our guys can't just take them that easily, and they have to, you know, if they push themselves too far, they can, but how dangerous is that for them? So, I don't know, we'll see. I wanted, we just got... I'm glad he's dead. I, know, I hope he's dead, but I want a moment to revel in the fact that he beat you. <laughs> I want you to say it. We just got Rock Lee back, and I mean, he's not all the way back, but he's coming back. Yeah. We had we lost Jimmy G. Ah, oh, fuck, man. It's great when you can take, like, a a comedic character. Yep. And, like, make him serious. Yep. And then it means something. Yeah. Sure. I love those moments. Well, he's still lighthearted, you know? It's like the core of the group. I think his dad's going to have to find out what happened. Did they have to make him skinny? At the end, I think you like. I think you like, fat gummed it. He used I, that. I think I he think used he was that using like shocker back. I guess his the yeah. pepper. <laughs> it burnt through all. Yeah, it burnt through, through it all. the reserves. I was oh. like, ah, you can only be powerful if you're not fat. You know, like <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't he, he already went the other way, right? He got huge and belly flopped him, and that didn't work. Mm-hmm. No, it's like if Naruto took that red pill, he'd have just fucking died without doing shit because he didn't have any fat reserves. Wait, is that he what had happened? No, he had no energy. Yeah, it would have been. Cool to see Choji like become a sumo wrestler style oh, body. Fuck yeah. yeah. And then, like as he gets older and just have all that power. With the yeah. ropes. Like imagine a Honda but with Dalsum's limbs. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. Yeah. Do the. <laughs> the like from like 100 feet away? Yeah. That'd be crazy. I hope when they bury him, they bury him fat. Stuff out his padding a bit, you know? That's how I remember. Stuff out his padding? Yeah. Our- no, pat out. Pat, pat out, out his stuffing. Shirt shirt, you know? They serve chips at the wake. Ah, <sighs> laugh and grow fat. No one gets the last one. Leave that for him. Yeah. yeah. Like they all eat a bag of chips, but they leave one chip. They put yeah, it in the casket with them. Before I start crying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our reaction to this episode of Naruto. Much more Naruto to go. Choji list, unfortunately. If you want to see your reactions to it, subscribe. Or head over to patreon.com slash blindly where you can see the next four reactions. 